Hey guys, it's Googly again with another video and uh, this time, let me ask you a question. Do you like to have dark theme on all your applications and all your systems? I know there is Substratum for it and I have already made a video on how to install and uh, use Substratum. But in my opinion, there is a better way for it if you are on a device with Android and if you want dark theme. And this is called the Swift Installer for Android. So let's get started. So guys, the Swift installer application is a really good application in my opinion. It works really well if you want dark themes available for your device. It is super simple. Few things which I do want to mention. Swift installer is in early access right now. You can download it and install it. You will have to pay for it. It is a paid application and it uses Substratum as a backend. That is what I understand from it. Also, it needs Magisk or Root to work. It requires Root to work unless you are on Samsung or your version. Samsung Pi and uh, newer versions does require you to have root for all intents and purposes it requires you to have root that is the prerequisites and all that let's get started what is Swift installer Swift installer is a substrate I would consider that as a substrate and backend correct me if I'm wrong which automatically does a lot of things itself where it will install it it will update it it will also remind you if there is an application whose version number does not correspond to the version which is available and all that it is really really easy and I really like so let's get started with how to install swift installer theme first of all you will need to install swift installer i've already installed it so that is there you will have to grant the root permission i have done that this is the options about it. it does support over 200 themed application basic usage you can read all about this if you want to now it also comes with a magic module which allows the themes to be automatically applied whenever you reboot the system which is really important this will be installed automatically whenever magic is detected and simply rebooting the device will activate the magic module which is really cool I will have to give permission so that is something which you need to do and then you have the personalization screen this is the first screen which you will find where you have options to customize the way you are going to theme you have a little preview here which will show how it works you have a color wheel here where you can customize how the colors are appearing it is really really cool and this is another thing which I really like it will show if the accent color is too bright for the particular option which you need this is really really interesting I just really like it you can customize it and it will also show how it works so as you can see the search button is there and also the quick setting icons are like this one if you select that you can customize it in a lot of ways and I'm really really happy about that let's uh, select a slightly pastel blue kind of a thing I like that color a lot now the background can also be customized it does have a few options here so ocean style night option and also it has a color wheel which is interesting so you can customize that to your heart's content if you want a slightly yellowish tint all of that is available and you can customize that it does show if the brightness of the background is too bright and you will have issues with the visibility and all that as you can see there is a preview of it it works really well let's just select the black theme because that is what I want you can see you can also input the hex code if you want to use that also with the accent you can select the hex code if you want a very particular color you can google search the hex code for it and just input there it works reasonably well also you have option to select between material design and also flat design what material design is not really sure if you'll be able to see it on the camera but material design has a dark with a slightly brighter dark option you can select what it offers you can see how the cards are different and dialogues are different and all that I like the flat option because it is just black now the status bar icons and colors are also available where you have customization for that now what happens is this is the default behavior where the system detects that the status bar is black it will display white icons as it is right now also if it detects that the status bar is white due to some applications it will display a black icon set that that is uh, the default behavior what is recommended for this one is white gray option how that is beneficial is because the application themes a lot of the white applications for example Instagram into a dark application if you have black and white enabled the system will still detect the Instagram application status bar to be white and it will show black icons but in reality the application is dark themed and you will not see the status bar icons so white gray is the best option because even with a dark overlay on the application you will 
be able to see the gray icons which the system detects as black so it may sound convoluted just select white and gray it works really well now you also have the option to change the transparency of quick setting as you can see in the previous settings if you are someone who wants the translucent options it is available you can do that and now we have the notification background if you want something like how the oneplus does it with oneplus all the notifications are white but if you want to have that you can have that with the subscription theme also or if you can want to have dark theme you can have that with everything dark which is really cool with all the stuff which you have need set just click on the circle button which is the overlay theming option click on continue theming now select what all application you want themed so that is really cool what i do is i click on all of them because i do want all of the application themed you can see that this icon means that it requires in-app menu settings to be set to dark mode so as you can see it shows that it will give you a shortcut to open application and just select it to dark mode which is really cool this icon shows that it is version dependent what that means is that this version is supported these versions are supported if you have a different version to it it will not be able to theme it again chrome there is an option for enabling the dark theme which requires a little bit more finagling does give you a guide on how to do that which is really cool something which substratum does not really have because it is a more all-in-one thing you also it is supported right now which is cool with something like gboard you do need to create a gboard theme which the application will create itself click on create and go to the application and enable that theme for it to work correctly so that's also there another thing about gmail is that if you want to use gmail with the dark theme there are other roms out there for example havoc rom which has the dark notification already so for that you will need to enable this option for oneplus it is not required so i'm just gonna do that now with the i option it is an information about the application so you can read about it now once you have all of that enabled and uh, whatever you want selected click on the continue theming option and install the system it will show you that it is in the process of installing it might force close that's fine click on proceed so it will install all the themes now now it has installed all the themes and it will ask you to reboot now it's a good option to reboot now just to have everything work correctly i'm going to click on reboot later to just show you guys the successful and failed one as you can see google and netflix has been failed because i don't have the correct version of it or there is an option available with it or it's a system application both of these are system applications that is probably the reason it is not getting themed but there is a workaround for it which i will show you guys once everything is restarted i can click on tick mark and reboot now is available but i do want to show you that magisk module has been installed it does require a reboot so as you can see swift installer module is enabled or just put into the modules folder it does require you to reboot so i'm gonna reboot and show you guys it's working so my system has rebooted now and i'm back on oxygen os now i want to show you guys that it doesn't work out of the box it is now enabled here in the magisk module folder you will see that the swift installer is now available it is working correctly that's fine if you open up a system this is not themed yet and uh, also let's see instagram instagram is an application which is themed no it has not been themed yet what you need to do now is just open the fifth installer menu and then see what all are available now it'll take some time to load everything so yeah it is now loaded it's available that's pretty much it now i do want to enable these options which is update notification and notification for new applications whenever you have a new application available it will show that swift installer theme is available for that application or when the, whenever there is an update available for a device it will tell you if the uh, new update is supported by swift installer which is a cool feature i really like that now it will require me to do a reboot again to just set everything correctly so i have rebooted once more and now if we see okay as you can see the status bar stuff is now all black rather than the grayish color which is available with oneplus's dark theme let's go to instagram application and as you can see it is now black and everything is now themed the way it is supposed to be themed it works really well for most of applications whatsapp is themed really well i'm really happy with that once you have all done everything if you want to personalize it again you can customize it after the fact and that is really cool if you want to change the color options if you want it a little bit darker there you can just click on this on confirm changes it will ask you to reboot and install a few of the overlays which are available and then customize that to your heart's content which is really cool now apart from that if you want to change a few things which is in the overlay extras option for example you realize now that the gmail notification is 
not really working you can enable that here and reboot again also for telegram you will have to download a telegram uh, theme separately and just enable that very self-explanatory which is given all the instructions are given here which does work really well that is how you install swift installer now all my applications are themed uh, my settings is themed everything is themed now to the color and specification which i want i'm really happy with that now let me show you how an update works as you can see play store is also themed i have a few updates here uh, for youtube for google all that let me update google and uh, youtube and just to show you guys how it works correctly with this now here is the google application before updating anything so uh, it is being updated now as you can see updating google just to show you guys how it does okay now google app has been updated let's see how google app is right now as you can see it is white okay now youtube and google is now updated and i just got a message that there is a new update available for to install so that is regarding youtube will show you that you will need to install the youtube uh, update you can just click that click on update and click on reboot it is that simple it's a very very useful feature when you're coming from substratum which requires you to go in and uh, just look into all the options which needs updating and uh, it, it can take a while so it's really useful the update feature on this one which does work really well now let me also show you guys how to update the gmail or google application if it's a system application it will also show that there is an update available if you want to use that you can click on it you can update it it will update it it will ask you to reboot you can click reboot now to reboot it now if you have applications which are not updated for example google now i'm going to click on that and install it now it will install the google application now because it has been updated so the update is now a user application so that works really well now i will click on reboot now it will reboot into my device again and this time it should be updated so my system just rebooted it's supposed to be working pretty well now everything is now set in peace let's go to google application and see if it is updated no it's not updated let's check back into the swift installer it will now grant uh, permission and uh, the root status to swift installer now my system should do that now let's go back to google application and now it is themed this is what you have to do to get dark mode onto various applications available i say it is much easier than substratum and it is really really useful if you're coming from substratum and have no idea how to do it because it's a bit more convenient with substratum this is not a full-on replacement for substratum because substratum can do much more than just theming systems or theming applications it also has system ui mods if you want to do stuff with the status bar and all that but if you exclusively use substratum for dark themes as i did this is a better option in my opinion it is really useful i have been using this ever since my 60 and i've been very happy with it it works really well it is a paid application and I see that it was what 99 rupees when I bought it it's worth every penny because of the headaches which you I don't have to worry about it is so much better one thing which I do want to mention is that uh, since you are using magisk you might be hiding a few of the applications with magisk hide if you hide any application for example if you hide any do with magisk hide you will not be able to theme it with the system installer which is a thing which I have noticed letting you guys know that that is a thing apart from that though it is pretty good and uh, yeah I will provide the link in the description on where to get this it's a play store link it is safe it is just normal stuff I have tried this with Oxygen OS and also I have tried it with AUSP ROMs with Havoc ROM with Skydragon a lot of ROMs I have tried it out with it works flawlessly I didn't have any issues with it I don't have a Samsung One UI device so I didn't really try it out or even with a Samsung device Oreo supposedly it does not require root that is pretty much it about the Swift installer if you have any doubts do let me know in the comment section below hopefully you guys like the video please subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time